Good morning, Cappuccino. Happy Friday. This is day 10 of home teaching and learning. Today we're going to keep talking about fractions, working with fractions. And yesterday's math space assignment started with problems that looked like this. And some of you were having a hard time doing these problems. By the way, Yesterday, Mr. Alvarez and I were on Zoom. We had a Zoom meeting, and we had some people come and visit us in our Zoom meeting and get help on math. So we're going to have another meeting next week, so look for the invitation in your email, okay? So shout out to Yaslin and Wendy and Gerardo and Chris for showing up for our Zoom classroom meeting. It was super fun to get to talk to everybody and help with math. So everybody, when you check your email, check your email for an invitation from Mr. Alvarez for the next Zoom meeting. We'd love to see everybody there. Okay, so today's warm up. I have a picture and it's been cut into one, two pieces. So what fraction of the original shape, this is the original shape, what fraction of the original shape is this piece right here? What part is it of this? So this is like the problems on math space. So on math space you have problems just like this. And so what is the answer here? This piece right here? This piece, how much of it is this, of this? Well, this has been cut into two pieces. So the denominator is two, because there's one, two pieces. How many pieces is this showing? It's showing one. So the answer to number one is one half. Okay, number two, go ahead, try it yourself. Here's the original shape. What fraction is this piece? What fraction? Okay, think about it. So our answer here, how many pieces? One, two, three, four. That would be the denominator. How many pieces do we have? One, two, three. So this is three-fourths of the original shape. Okay, so the answer to number two is three-fourths. All right, so that's like the beginning problems on yesterday's math space. Yesterday's math space, March 26th. Okay, also on yesterday's math space, we had division problems. So the way we are going to do division now is we are going to rewrite it as multiplying by the reciprocal. The reciprocal of one-fourth is, you just flip it, is 4 over 1. And now we know how to multiply this. We can do that Alex and Morgan method. So I'm going to write this as 5 times 4 over 1. 5 times 4 is 20. 20 divided by 1 is 20. Okay, so 20 divided into fourths, I'm sorry, 5 <laughs> divided into fourths is the same as 5 times the reciprocal, which is equal to 20. Okay, so that was letter A. Letter B, again, I'm going to rewrite it as multiplying by the reciprocal. So I keep the first fraction, and I change to multiply. Now, what is the reciprocal of 5? The reciprocal of 5 is 1 over 5. Okay, so this maybe is a little confusing. So 5, I can write it as a fraction by putting it over 1 because 5 divided by 1 equals 5. So when I take the reciprocal, when I flip it, I get 1 over 5. Okay, so this becomes 1 fourth times 1 fifth, 1 times 1 over 4 times 5, and I get 1 over 20. Okay, now the last one, letter C, Letter C, I have 1 fourth, I'm going to change it to multiply 
by the reciprocal. I'm going to flip these. So it's going to be 5 over 1. So then I have 1 times 5 over 4 times 1, which is equal to 5 over 4. 1 times 5 is 5. 4 times 1 is 4. Okay? So that's like yesterday's math space. So if you haven't done yesterday's math space yet, go ahead and do it. Give it a try. If you need help, you can email me or you can call or text Mr. Alvarez. Okay? Now, on to notes. What are we doing today? Today, we are going to be solving equations with fractions. So we are going to be using the balance method to start. We're going to use the balance method. You're going to have problems like this in math space. How do we solve for x? If I have 2 times x equals negative 8, how do I solve for x? Well, let's think about the balance method. What is happening here? x is being times by 2. So if I think about my construction steps, it's being times by 2. That's it. That's all that's happening. So how do we... What's the opposite of that? How do we get rid of times by 2? We do the opposite. So we have to divide by 2. We have to divide by 2. So what do we have to do here? First, we first need to divide by 2. Divide by 2. So in math space, you're going to have questions just like this. And you have to fill in this part. You're going to be asked to fill in this part. Okay, so then if we actually do it, I would have 2x equals negative 8. I'm going to divide by 2. So divide by 2. I would have to divide this side by 2 as well. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So we're left with x equals negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4. Okay, so in math space, they're just going to ask you to fill in the sentence. You're just going to do this in math space. This is what you do in math space. All right, so next problem. Now we're going to have it with a fraction. So let's see what's happening here. X is being times by one-fifth. What's the opposite of multiply? The opposite of multiply is divide. Divide by one-fifth. But when I divide by a fraction, what do we actually have to do? We actually have to multiply by the reciprocal. Multiply by the reciprocal. So here it says we first need to multiply. So I had written divide, but it's Math space wants me to multiply. What do I have to multiply by? I have to multiply by the reciprocal of one-fifth, which is 5 over 1. And what's 5 divided by 1? Just 5. So I need to multiply by 5. Okay, so you're going to have problems like this in math space. Let's do another one. What if I have... What if I had 2 thirds times x is equal to, I don't know, uh, 10? What would we need to do first? Okay, so if I said we first need to multiply, what are we going to multiply by? Okay, this is like how it looks in math space. They want you to fill in the blank. What are we going to multiply by? Okay, so what's happening? I see x is being times by 2 thirds. The opposite of multiply is divide. So divide by 2 thirds. But what do we do when we have divide by a fraction? We change it to multiply by the reciprocal by 3 over 2. Okay, so if this was a problem in math space, we first need to multiply by 3 over 2. That's the answer. 
okay? So some of the questions in MathSpace are just asking you for the first step. And you don't solve it. You just fill in the blank, okay? So if we have this, what do we need to do? We need to multiply by the reciprocal. Okay, so let's actually solve some problems now. So you're also going to have problems where you're just going to be asked to solve for x. So we're going to solve for x. We're going to solve for x. So again, what's happening here? I see x is being times by 1 half. That's it. That's all that's happening. That's my construction. Okay, here's my construction. So what's the opposite? The opposite is to divide by one half. Okay, here's my construction, here's my deconstruction. So construct, we're going to deconstruct. But dividing by one half, that's the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. Okay, dividing by one half is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. You flip it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take our problem and we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by 2 over 1. So I'm going to deconstruct it using my balance method by multiplying by 2 over 1. Multiply by 2 over 1. So on the left hand side I get 2 times 1 is 2 1 times 2 is 2, and there's my x. And on this side, I get negative 4 times 2 is negative 8 over 1. 2 divided by 2, well, that's just 1. So I'm left with x, and negative 8 divided by 1 is negative 8. And there's my answer. Okay? And we could check it. We could do a check. One half times negative eight. Does that equal negative four? Okay, one half times negative eight. Well, I can do this the um, Alex and Morgan way. So I have one times negative eight over two. One times negative eight is negative eight. Negative eight divided by two is negative four. Yay! face it worked okay now we're getting a little fancier on this one a little bit more happening here and I'm actually going to show you how to solve this two different ways so I'm going to do it the balance method and I'm going to do it the deconstruction method okay so balance method first how was this constructed how was this problem constructed how did was it constructed it was the X is being times by negative three-fifths, that's tough, and then it's being minus by five. That's how it was constructed. So now we need to deconstruct. How do we deconstruct that? What's the opposite of minus five? That would be plus five. What's the opposite of multiply by a fraction? Well, that's divide by a fraction, but remember, if we divide by a fraction, that's the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. So I'm going to just say, oh, okay, that's the same. The opposite of timesing by negative three-fifths, the opposite of that is timesing by the reciprocal, negative five-thirds. It doesn't matter where I put the negative. I could put the negative on the bottom or the top. It doesn't matter because a negative divided by a positive is the same as a negative divided by a positive. Okay, so I just flipped it. So this is how it was constructed. This is how we're going to deconstruct it. So I'm going to add 5 to both sides of my equal sign. I'm going to add 5. And the 5's go away. Negative 5 plus 5. That's 0. So I'm left with negative 3 fifths x is equal to 4 plus 5 is 9. Okay, so I took care of that. Done. So what do I need to do next? I need to multiply 
by negative 5 thirds. So I'm going to multiply both sides of my equation here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to write the equation again before I do that so you can see each step individually. So let's pretend I didn't do that. Okay, pretend I didn't do that. Negative 3 fifths x equals 9. Now I'll do it on here. Times both sides of the equation by negative 5 thirds. Times by negative 5 thirds. Okay, so let's see what happens here. So if I multiply, I'm going to multiply negative 5 times negative 3. A negative times a negative is a positive. 5 times 3 is 15. And 3 times 5 is 15. Hey, look at that. 15 divided by 15, that just equals 1. And then over here, 9 times negative, oh, wait a minute. Check this out. 9 times negative 5 over 3. I actually see something kind of interesting here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reduce, I think. I could go ahead and multiply 9 times negative 5 and get negative 45, but I actually see something that I want to reduce right away. So 15 divided by 15 is 1, so I'm left with x. But on this side, see how I have to divide by 3? I know I can divide 9 by 3, so I'm going to do this the, the Morgan way. I'm going to do 9 divided by 3 times negative 5. Right? I can move that one over underneath that one. So I get 9 divided by 3. Oh, I'm running out of room. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 3 times negative 5 is equal to negative 15. Okay? So my answer is x equals negative 15. Okay, if I was to check that, I'll try and squeeze it in here. I might have to do it a little bit shorthand. Negative 3 fifths times negative 15 minus 5, does that equal 4? Okay, so I can do, I can do the Morgan way on this. I'm going to do negative 3 times negative 15 over 5, and then minus the 5, because I know what 15 divided by 5 is. See, I just took my denominator and put it under this one. 15 divided by 5, that is negative 3. So I have negative 3 times negative 3, and then minus 5. What's a negative times a negative? Negative times a negative is a positive. 9 minus 5 is 4. 4 equals 4. Happy face. It works. All right, so if that was, like, kind of scary, if that was a little daunting, I'm going to show you another way how to do the same problem but using deconstruction. Okay, so if that was too scary for you, that's all right. We're going to do it with deconstruction. Okay, if you have a fraction times x, we can do this with deconstruction by rewriting this with the x in the numerator. Because negative 3 fifths times 5, if I put the times there, I can do the, like, the, the Alex way. I can multiply these together. So I can rewrite this as negative 3x all divided by 5. And now we can actually do this the deconstruction way. And you might like this better, and that's fine. You can do it the balanced way, or you can do it deconstruction. So um, my deconstruction would be x equals what's happening to the x. It's being times by negative 3. And then it's being divided by 5. And then it's being minus by 5 to get 4. Okay? So we can do it this way. This totally works. All right? You don't have to do it the fancy way with the reciprocals and all that. So x is being times by negative 3. What's new here? It's being divided by 5. And then what's happening here? It's being minus by 5. So now I need to do the opposites. The opposite of minus 5 is plus 5, so 4 plus 5 is 9. Then I need to divide by 5, so divide by 5. 9 divided by 5, ooh, that's weird. Okay, that's just 9 over 5. I can't really divide 9 by 5, so I'll just leave it as a fraction. And then I have, oh wait, I just made a mistake. Ah, 
ah, did you catch my mistake? This said divide. This was supposed to say multiply. Ah, oh, multiply by five. Oh, gosh, it was looking so pretty with all those colors, and then I messed up. I'm sorry. Huh. All right, so this says divide by five, so I need to multiply by five. Nine times five is 45. Sorry about that. And now I need to divide. This says times, so the opposite is divide by negative three. 45 divided by negative three is negative 15. Is that the same answer as I got before? Yes, it is. Okay, so you might be thinking, wow, this looks really hard. And this looks really easy. Okay, but um, the being able to multiply by a reciprocal, though, is kind of a good thing to be able to do. All right? So you can certainly solve equations that have a fraction in it like this. Whoops, where is it? Like this. You can rewrite it like this and then use deconstruction. Totally can do that. Um, or you can try and do it the more sophisticated way. This is considered the more sophisticated way. So like Sam and Andy and Jasmine, this is the way they would do it. They would do this problem like this. Okay, except they do a lot of this in their head because they're, they're pretty good with fractions now. Okay, so for if you're a beginner and that looks like scary, go ahead and do it this way. Go ahead and do it the deconstruction. Deconstruction. You can do it the deconstruction way. It's totally fine. Or this is the balance. The balance method. Either way is fine. All right, but that's what you're doing in Math Space today. If you're having any problems, you can send me an email and ask me for help and I can help you with your problems or you can call or text Mr. Alvarez or email Mr. Alvarez as well. All right, good luck. See you next week at the Zoom meeting. Look for the invitation from Mr. Alvarez. Bye-bye.